How are you? I'm Larry Chang and I have researched what I believe to be incredibly critical to a startup's success. And that is this, is that selling as a CS major is incredibly difficult. And there's classes that are formed that hint at this, but don't exactly uh, mentor us on how to do it. For example, CS183, Peter Thiel's lecture, lecture 9, CS183, Peter Thiel, lecture 9 is on distribution and sales. But, he, but Peter does not exactly go into sales, he just goes into distribution and how most things get under promoted without expanding on the distribution component. Distribution aka sales and getting distribution. I want to quote to you uh, a person who wrote an essay, Paul Graham, who co-founded Y Combinator. And there's a, go to this URL, paulgram.com slash ds as in don't scale ds.html. You got to have the full HTML at the end of paulgram.com slash ds slash uh, paulgram.com slash ds don't scale dot html. It ends in dot html. Let me quote for you this. And no, this is Paul Graham now in the don't scale, do things that don't scale essay. And no, you can't avoid doing sales by hiring someone to do it for you. You have to do sales yourselves initially. And no, you can't avoid doing sales by hiring someone to do it for you. You have to initially do it for yourselves. That's Paul Graham. Set that quote aside and go to four steps to the epiphany. Uh, Professor Blank taught Engineering 145, uh, Technology Entrepreneurship, and he also taught Engineering 245 with a uh, lean launchpad, uh, both at Stanford and at Cal. Without exactly talking about sales, Engineering 145, Engineering 245 talks about distribution, hints at it, and even on page 99 of four steps, I think it's page 99, it's 99. You don't even need to check. Actually, go ahead and check. Page 99, Four Steps to the Epiphany. Genius book, uh, pillar of doing a startup. Page 99 talks about how most founders, the first time they ever try to sell something, is something that they themselves made. So when we try to sell something that we made and people say no, it's a death knell. It completely will demoralize us because we made it. And if you say no, I kind of want to go back and make it perfect. And making a product perfect is another uh, sand trap. It's another uh, missile. It's a torpedo that can definitely sink your start. But if you're trying to make the perfect, perfect start, perfect, perfect product before you launch, promote, premiere, grand open. So page 99 talks about how founders, the first time they try to sell something is where that's something that they themselves coded and you don't want to do that. By the way, the shirts in the back, okay? People ask me, hey, do you wear the same thing every day? No, I have a lot of things that are the same thing. So page 99 talks about how the first time you try to sell something is where you're trying to sell something that you made. So the answer to that setting now Steve Blank aside before it was Paul Graham setting is the first 10 attempts of you trying to sell something should be successes. I'm talking about batting a thousand in the first 10 attempts. If you're floored by that, you're actually listening and in tune with this because most people try once, give up, or majority of the time, CS major founders never try before they then sort of give up. They never try sales. So I believe that the first 10 attempts should be successful attempts to sell something. This is how I hacked the system. This is how I gamed it uh, using my engineering know-how and my really large 88 of an IQ. Is that you want to sell and promote something else's thing. 
you want to sell and promote something that's uh, already been adopted. So that way you can gain confidence in the process that prospects need to be taken through before they become a paying client. Well, let me repeat that. So you want to be 10 for 10. You want to be able to take a prospect and turn them and close them into being a customer. So this solves page 99 of Four Steps to the Epiphany. This solves the Paul Graham uh, where you can't delegate it to a VP of sales. Uh, this solves another blog post which states, which actually also by uh, Steve Blank, which talks about once you hire your venture funded uh, startup, once you hire a VP of sales, the clock is actually then ticking on when your VC firm, the one that just gave you money, is going to fire you. And that's in uh, Startup Death Spiral. And this is the bit.ly link for it. This is the URL for it. bit.ly slash S is in Steve. S blank. Blank is in Professor Blank. Bitly. bit.ly slash S blank 713. That's startup death spiral. Once a VP of sales gets hired and that official title, once that title is on the books, you literally have a ticking time bomb of when you're going to be profitable with the money that the venture firm gave you. They gave you money because they thought that the risk was vetted. They gave you money not because they want to take a risk. They think that the money that they gave you is now going to make them significantly more money. That's what startup death spiral is. Is Once the VP of sales is on the skids and they get fired or thinking about getting fired, a founder will be on the block also. Start Death Spiral has a uh, series of blog posts. They're all written by Steve Blank, and they all go towards the fact that, but they never really hone in on the conclusion, which is we as CS founders, we actually need to sell. So there's a series of Steve Blank articles, bit.ly, bit.ly, s blank 710, bit.ly, s blank 711. 712 and bit.ly s blank 713. Those are the the four blog posts from 710 s blank 710 to bit.ly slash s blank 713. No space between those. Those are the four blog posts that talk about a startup going into a death spiral because their VP of sales is in turbulence because as Steve Blank unknowingly agrees with Paul Graham is you can't outsource VP of sales. Now let's move forward with how are we going to ace our first 10 sales and I've politely and enthusiastically and helpfully categorize them into a new hashtag. It's called CS183S as in sales. CS183S as in sales. Now this is all content that will appear, I'm guessing, at a future South by Southwest conference. I just don't want you to wait. Right now it's February uh, 2016 and I don't want to have you wait until March 2019 for when the book or the class or the whatever drops. You kind of need to have this information now. So that's what CS183S helps you do with inside of 20 lectures. Yes, 20 lectures. Now I'm going to have you guess the price of this, but set that aside for a second. <laughs> it's free. So there's 20 lectures and every other lecture, well actually every lecture has a requirement of you to sell something and I've reduced the amount of risk to be so low that you actually can't fail. You, 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 there's no way you can fail. I just said a double negative. There's no way that you can fail attempting to sell 10 things uh, in a row. So one of the first things that you can sell is whatever you want to pick that's semi-adopted, whether it be Uber or a power cord or a slice of pizza. In fact, selling a slice of pizza, you don't even need to say anything. You just put up a sign, $5 for a slice, 
And at a technology conference, executives will literally fall over themselves trying to get ripped off. I know, a whole pizza only costs seven bucks on campus. Uh, you'll be selling them for $5 a slice at a massively large profit margin. You'll be buying whole pizzas for nine bucks and selling them for over 50. Selling and doing small things, doing installations of apps, uh, helping with affiliate codes. These are all things inside of CS183S. Now, there's those lectures, CS183S, uh, Lecture 1 through Lecture 20. Now, there's a venture firm in Silicon Valley that is notoriously awesome for distribution. They're actually the, the sports agents of the venture community. That's in Dreesen Horowitz. So I've actually come up with a sub uh, hashtag, which is CS183A16Z, which is the name of the firm. So no space, hashtag CS183A16Z. This firm is notoriously awesome in doing distribution. And what they've been able to do is really help startups sell, get face-to-faces with, face-to-face -face meetings with uh, CTOs in a bullpen-like setting where you on one day meet a half a dozen CTOs to pitch them on whatever it is that you're selling. If you look at the Google and you see their, they've only got three posts written about distribution. The number of tweets that they talk about distribution single digit number of tweets. The reason for that is that talking about distribution, uh, addressing distribution, even mentioning sales to developers, to CS majors, is so massively unpopular that people just don't do it. It doesn't matter how many people are dying with the uh, fatality rate for startups in 2016 is the same as the fatality rate of startups back in 19. 16 is the same fatality rate as in 1816 about 80 percent think about that newborn infants i mean the fatality rate is i mean they could be born whatever 40 weeks in 30 weeks in and the premature infant survives but a startup that mortality and that death rate has always been four in five die and that's just since the beginning of time is 80 percent of new startups die it's 2016, it's still that. The way to solve it is nearly unanimous where you've got to get individual founders, technical founders, to put on a VP of sales hat. And in the old ways, it was one hacker and one hustler. In the old way, it was two hackers and then sort of a biz dev person that you bring along later. The new way is a PowerPoint slide deck presentation that you pitch to a venture firm that's one slide. Five CS majors, we all code, we all sell. As far as explaining the technology, it's literally like explaining to your grandma how to plug in the freaking Wi-Fi. I mean, VCs have no clue. I mean, going to engineering school in the 90s, that doesn't count for technical chops or buying stock in Facebook via the friend feed backdoor acquisition and owning Facebook stock at IPO, you bought friend feed stock. You didn't front door it and you backdoored it in. So when you're pitching VCs and you're selling them, the only way to truly sell them is to show them that you sold something previously as a CS major. Because if you're trying to explain FM rainbow, uh, over Wi-Fi on FM signals, uh, doing broadband video compressions, VC is just going to glaze over in the same way that dinosaurs do. And then they're going to ask for validating questions, which you won't have because you haven't sold it yet. But if you showed them that you've sold previous things, that does a huge amount to your credibility. Hope some of these things have been helpful, and hopefully you've been able to get a lot of value out of this way before South by Southwest 2020.